The initial contractor engaged to install this fiberglass shelled pool has, thank God, been sacked by the property owners. What went wrong, you ask? Let's start with the basics. The fiberglass pool in this case has approximately 100 mil flat surface around the perimeter of the pool for the coping to adhere to. Currently you can't see this because the, the pool coping tiles have been adhered onto this 100 mil pool edge. Please note that the coping tiles used here are approximately 350 mil in width, which means that they are only adhered to 30% of the pool. The rest of the coping is simply sitting on top of crushed rock, which is in itself unstable. So what should have happened, you ask? Well, there should have been a concrete pool beam placed around the perimeter of the pool, in this case, approximately 250 mil wide. The coping should then have been adhered to the top of the fiberglass pool edge and also to the concrete pool beam with the correct type of stone adhesive. You will notice that the coping looks to be up and down and not flat and it's definitely not following the curve of the pool. This is also due to improper installation techniques. As you can see the pool coping on this fiberglass pool is already coming loose which in this case is a good thing because they're all going to have to come off anyway so we can start again. The only guys that are going to enjoy swimming around this pool for quite some time are going to be those two frogs who are in there right now because this is going to take some time to fix.